Hi friends, it's Kelly here. So today we're learning about shapes and playing with shapes. When a shape's appearance is altered, it is said to have been transformed. Mathematical transformations include rotating, translating, enlarging, and reflecting. Rotating means turning a shape around a point, such as one of its corners. B is a rotation of A. The shape stays the same size. Enlarging something means changing its size in relation to a fixed point. The length of all the sides increases by the same factor, but the angles stay the same. The factor of increase is called the scale factor. A scale factor of two means the size. The sides will double in size. Translating a shape means moving it up, down, or left, or maybe right. Its size and angle stays the sh- stays the same. It's just moving it around. Reflecting. It's a bit like a mirror. See, mirror line. Reflect. Two hands. There's a real hand here, but then here's a mirror. Another hand. The blue butterfly is an enlargement of the red butterfly by a scale factor of two, two times bigger, and it's a、uh, it's blue. So. It's possible to enlarge a shape by a fractional factor. This means it will shrink down in size. The red butterfly is a fractional enlargement of the blue butterfly. Its sides are one half the size. Its sides are one half the size of the blue butterfly. Shapes are said to be congruent if they have the same size and shape. Symmetry. Some shapes have mirror lines inside themselves. These shapes are described as symmetrical. The mirror line is called a line of symmetry. If you cut out a shape and then try to fold it so that it makes two perfectly overlapping halves, unfold it and then see how many ways could you do this. You'll find all its lines of symmetry. This triangle has three lines of symmetry. One line here, one line here, and here. It can be folded in half, in half three different ways. The triangle also has rotational symmetry of order three. Some shapes can be turned all the way around and fit exactly onto themselves. This is called rotational symmetry. This. Z has rotational symmetry of order two. When turned 360 degrees, it looks exactly like itself two times on the rotation. Once at 180 degrees, and again at 360 degrees. Finding fractals. One branch of geometry involves finding equations that can be drawn on a graph to make a shape. In the 19th century, German mathematician Karl Wirchers came up with an algorithm that drew a very unusual kind of shape—a shape that went on forever, repeating itself on a smaller and smaller scale. In the 1960s, French mathematician Benoît Mandelbrot studied these patterns and came up with a name for them. Fractals. Fractals are shapes that exhibit something called self-similarity, and the same pattern repeats at different scales. So you see it again and again as you zoom in on the shape. Here's one of Mandelbrot's fract- fractals drawn using a computer. No matter how closely you zoom in, the same pattern is always visible. What about natural fractals? The most common fractal in the natural world are snowflakes. They come again and again, and these 
these snowflakes really do look like fractals. As you can see here, comparison, they do. All right, that's all we have for math for this class. Goodbye, and remember, 喜欢看中文的请搜索跟长荣学数学中文版。